Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm teaching you how to add a custom map slash custom world to a Minecraft server. This allows you to take any world you want. You can even take your single player worlds and add them to Minecraft servers using this method. Now I am assuming you already have a server. If you don't, there's a link in the description down below or you can go to thebreakdown.xyz slash apex to purchase a Minecraft server from Apex Minecraft Hosting. We actually love just Apex so much that we host our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on them and you can easily add custom maps to an Apex Minecraft server and play them with your friends. And again, that is either like a custom app you download from the internet or a single player world that you're playing and then want to just now share that world with your friends. Either way, you can do any of that with Apex Minecraft hosting. And again, you can check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex. Thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Nevertheless, though, once you have your server, we can go ahead and get started. Now, I'm going to be downloading a map in this video, but if you do want to add a single player world to a Minecraft server, like actually go pull your single player world and add it, you can do so very, very simply. I will tack on that at the end of this very quickly, but let's go ahead and download a map first. We do have this link in the description down below. It's the second link down below, and it will take you here. This is our 15 maps for whatever version of Minecraft is the most recent. For us currently, it's 1.17, but it could be any version. So scroll down through here, find the map that you want to install. Now, not all maps are great for multiple players but some of them are and on Minecraft maps right here you can actually look here at these different sections and see what the best maps are right you can go through and find those but parkour biomes is I believe decent for more than one player so we can go ahead and download the map here the map's going to then download in the bottom left shouldn't need to keep it or save it or anything like that we can then go ahead and minimize our browser and here on my desktop I have the map we downloaded this could also be in your downloads folder if it is click the little windows icon in the top left of my screen probably in the bottom left of your screen click on that little windows icon search for downloads you have this downloads file folder here click on that and in here you will find the map you downloaded drag it to your desktop for ease of use now, once the map is on your desktop, what we want to do is go ahead and right click on it and then click on extract all, then click on the extract button. It's then going to extract the map, right like so, and then once it is finished, we will have a new folder right here. We can then go ahead and delete the zip folder right here on our desktop, right? See this one that's got like this little zipped icon? We can delete that. We only need the uh, like folder, right like so. We then want to open up that folder, right? Which it was open there, but we want to open up this folder. And then we want to click until we see this information, right? Now it might not be all of this. It might just be, for example, dim one and dim dash one. It may just be a region file, whatever it is. You want to see folders and uh, files similar to this right here. You then want to go ahead and hit backspace one, right? So go ahead and hit backspace one, and then take this folder right here and drag it to your desktop. Then you can go ahead and delete the other folder. Most likely when you open it, it's just going to click through until emptiness, until you see this right here. You can delete that. And then now you should have your actual map here. When you open this up, you should see these folders. Now, to add this to a Minecraft server, what we want to do is go ahead and open up the vanilla server, right like so, or whatever server it is. It doesn't have to be a vanilla Minecraft server. And then we want to go ahead and right click on our world here. So right click on that and then rename it. And this is going to be your world old, right? So world underscore old is what you want to name that. This is just so if you do have something on that world, you won't lose it here. You're basically backing it up. Now we want to right click in this folder, create a new folder. So right click, create a new folder folder and then we want to name this folder world w-o-r-l-d exactly like that all lowercase it must be exactly like that open up your world folder then you want to open up the map you downloaded or the map that you pulled from a single player you want to copy all of these and drag and drop them into the world folder so now when you open up your world folder on your minecraft server you should see these folders here again when you open up your world folder, you should see these folders. If you don't, it's not going to work. And again, it may not be every single one of these folders, but it should be at least a few of them. Now, finally, we can go ahead and double click on our run.bat file to start our server, as well as open up Minecraft. I'm going to do a quick jump cut until Minecraft is open, the server has started, and then we'll check out this world. So here we are. Minecraft is now open. The server is now started. We can go ahead and go to multiplayer. We could direct connect, but I'm actually going to add this because uh, it... it is actually kind of cool. So we're going to do a local server and then go ahead and enter in local host as the IP. And then we can actually see it pulled, whoops, excuse me. Well, you can see that it works here. Boom, here it is. But uh, we can actually see that it did pull the icon of the map there. That's really cool. I didn't actually know it would do that. Um, I've never had an icon on a map before, so it will pull that if there is a custom icon. Cool stuff there. Good to Minecraft that it does that. But as you can see, the server is started. We can join on in. And it is, of course, the parkour biomes world. As you can see, 
boom. You've got all the uh, information over here. You can click here for that information, for example. Click here for the thanks, so on and so forth. Really cool stuff, and you can obviously start your parkour. Now, one thing I will say is sometimes game modes can be a little different, right? And that can be a problem. So, um, yeah, that's just kind of that. Sometimes that can be a problem. Also, sometimes with parkour maps, if they aren't specifically set up to be, you know, like a parkour map, they can actually... Um, break with falling off and allow you to like fall off and not get reset right as you can see here has happened now occasionally that can be fixed with uh you know talking with the map developer and things like that but um yeah at least i think that's the case because maybe, maybe it's not the case i don't know um but yeah i believe that the resetting on this is not working exactly perfectly but that's going to be on a per map basis some maps are great for example survival maps and even some you know adventure maps and things like that but sometimes parkour maps the only thing I've ever seen break is uh, is the falling off. But anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. Um, if you do want to uh, add in your own map, like your, your single player map, here's what you're going to do. It's very, very easy. You're going to go up to the little windows icon on the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. And you're going to type in run. You're then going to have this run app here. Click on that. And then in here, you're going to type percent sign, app data percent sign, right like so. Hit enter. You'll then have a dot Minecraft folder. Then you'll scroll down and you'll have a saves folder. In here, you'll find all of your Minecraft worlds. Go ahead and right click on these and then copy. Then come to your desktop and right click and paste. Then go back to the beginning of this tutorial and follow through. However, you should already be to the point to where when you open up the folder, you see these. So yeah, that's kind of how you can do that. That's how you can install your single player world into a Minecraft server. But um, yeah, this is how you can add any custom map that you want. Again, sometimes there will be different broken things and you can talk to the, ser or the map developer and be like, hey, I'm trying to get this to work on a Minecraft server. Can you help me out? And usually if uh, you know, they're a dedicated or good map developer, they'll be able to help you out there. And if not, sucks, but maybe time to find a different map in that case. But uh, yeah, that's how you can add a custom map to your Minecraft server. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. My name is Nick, and I'm out. Peace.